with you but before I do anything else I just want to say do you see something different do you yes no I didn't change anything really except for the fact that I have on my metallic eyeshadow so what do you think I fell in love with it once I put it on my eyes because it has that natural appearance to it I don't think it's too metallic for day wear but I probably won't be wearing it outside of this here video because of the fact that mm, I can't determine if it's acceptable or not. I don't know. I haven't had an opinion regarding it except for my own. But it has some natural, neutral shades and everything. I'm kind of feeling it. I really like it. So I have on my eyeshadow, not very much of anything else. And I just wanted to show you what it really looked like on me because I couldn't get it on appropriately the other day. But anyways, I am Love of Fragrance. And thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. And please, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I thank you very much for the subscribers I do have. But continue to subscribe and continue to comment. This segment today is in reference to empties empties guarding fragrances that i possess that are in my collection that i really have a love for but i am making preparations to terminate in other words there are empties that i am going to remove from my fragrance collection once i complete the, the entire container because they're almost empty so i can classify them as empties and i'm gonna let them go I'm not going to purchase them anymore. Right now, the first one that I'm going to classify as an empty happened to be Blueberry Woman. Blueberry Woman is a, oh God, is a beautiful, can you see it? <laughs> Blueberry Woman's a beautiful fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance. It was so beautiful. Why are you emptying it and eliminating it? That looks so crooked to me. I guess the bottle's a little crooked. No, you know what it is. It happened to be the stem on the inside. It made me look like I'm not holding the bottle correctly, but I am. Anyways, this is a nice fragrance. This fragrance right here is very, very, very projectable. It has a very affluent aroma. This fragrance has a very extensive projection when you apply to your body because it reminds you of fresh pine needles. Maybe to some extent, maybe some burnt pine needles from the sun. It may remind you of that, but or definitely pine trees because of the fact of the aroma. It has an extensive amount of black currant in it, and it also has some jasmine, some musk, and some vanilla, but it doesn't have an, any sweet aroma applied to it. It doesn't have that fresh floral aroma applied to it. It has an outdoorsy aroma. And the outdoorsy aroma gives you the impression of pine, pine, pine. It may be all coming from the black currant, but I want you to know it's beautiful. I had put some on, that's why I let you know that I wanted to make sure I had a clear description of this. This collection happens to be very extensive. Blueberry as a whole is a very extensive collection. And I've had my share of blueberry products, but this one right here, like I said, is woman, but it doesn't smell very delicate for a woman. It smells a little, smells a little bit coarse, outdoorsy, like pine. Like I said, it was designed in a perfume house in London, and they named it after the street walkers in London, like the tourists, because they have such a large gathering all the time on the streets of London. And I take into consideration that just like my um, Marc Jacobs Decaton, I always indicate to you that that particular fragrance reminds me of outdoors and it has an appropriate occasion and it's for like some type of ceremony or event outdoors or concert or something. I have the same perception regarding this. I would highly recommend this particular fragrance for an outdoorsy event concert or something like that because of the aroma that it projects. It's definitely outdoorsy. We all know that when we engage in activities, we have a tendency to elevate body odors and this right here definitely suppress any type of uh, physical perspiration or any type of physical odors that you may occur from extensive activities and this right here is a wonderful fragrance for covering up any type of aromas and it appears to have like a little bit of leather in it because it just smells a little hard. But I can understand why it would smell like that because you're going to need something 
hard if you engage in an extensive amount of physical activities like consistent walking, and I believe that's why they named it after Street Walkers of London. So, but that's a nice fragrance, but it has been included in my collection of empties, and I will not be attaining any more. So you can say goodbye to Blueberry Woman in my collection. So I'm going to be wearing this frequently until it's all gone, and we're going to say goodbye. So say goodbye now. <laughs> okay, the next one I have here that I am going to be eliminating as an empty from my fragrance collection has to be Guest Seductive. See, it's very, very, very empty. It's very empty. I only have a little bit more to go. Mmm. Guest Seductive is a wonderful fragrance also. It has an extensive amount of florals implied to this particular fragrance. But more so than that, it's a it's like a secretive type fragrance it's a fragrance that has an atmospheric uplifting scent that gives you an energy it smells sweet it has excessive amount of floors applied to it mm, let's put you over here it's in a collection where it's very important for this time of year right now for the summertime because of the light airy aroma it projects and it has some beautiful notes in it like some jasmine some floral excessive amount of floral and definitely some roses and it's a very sweet soft gentle fragrance that I highly admire I do but I'm going to eliminate it from my collection because now have a collection of guest seductive noir you know how i feel about the noir fragrance they are always very very rich in aromas and i would like to experiment with that one so when i conclude this here particular container i am going to eliminate this from my collection that's why i'm classifying it as my empties that i will no longer be investing in and this has a to some extent an unmatched scent toward it because of the richness that's applied to it so i'm hoping that the guest nor happens to be consistent with this one as well so you can say good bye goodbye to guest seductive as well okay and the next one i have here that i will be eliminating from my collection happens to be viscamuto and i have had Honey, when Vince Camuto first came out with all of these various fragrances, I just fell in love with it. That particular, This particular collection right here, I was in love with it. But I will be eliminating this as one of my containers of empties because as you can see, it's utilized excessively. But I'm going to go ahead on and finish this baby off and I'm going to say goodbye to Vince Camuto because of the fact that I love the fragrance at one time, but I've become a little bit more mature. And I think, I feel like I, I'm feeling my body chemistry has outgrown this fragrance to some extent and my lifestyle and everything has outgrown this fragrance. This fragrance is very, very sweet. An exceptional amount of gourmand sweetness within this particular fragrance. It's not an unattractive, unlovable scent. It's a scent that's designed for, I must admit, the youth. Oh, I love it. Aroma that has a great deal of power for it. I, <laughs> I want something like that. It makes me want to stand at a kitchen like, ooh, ooh, ooh. That makes me feel proud to wear it. I'm proud. I'm standing at a kitchen, baby, and I'm proud of my fragrance. That's what I like. It's something I can definitely, it has an area of appearance and an area aroma that's projectable. And I can smell it myself all over my body. And I don't. I don't get that one with this one at all. As a matter of fact, I don't really smell anything. It's nice for someone very youthful because this fragrance here has a great deal of sweetness. So I would say it has some vetiver in it. It has some sweetness, excessive amount of sweetness. So it's very, very, I would say, mm, appropriate for like i said i said the only aromas the only notes that i can determine in this particular fragrance happens to be that it's fruity and it's floral it's fruity and it's floral and it smells like it have a little bit of pineapple in it and it smells like it might have a, a hint of um definitely roses but it definitely 
Oh God, it had some caramel. It smelled like it has caramel. All the notes in here are definitely very charmingly sweet, overly sweet. A little bit too sweet for me, but it's cute. I classify this as just cute and attractive, but I can't utilize it anymore. So honey, I'm gonna eliminate, I'm gonna utilize this one up as well. These are classified as empties because you won't be seeing them anymore. I will never bring them to you again. So say goodbye to Vince Camuto. <laughs> and my next one is going to be, honey, you wouldn't believe this either. Another one, Vagari. This here is Vagari, and this here is Vagari Rose Essential. Now, this is a very pleasant scent. I was gifted this fragrance, and I, I actually love it. I really do. And it has a very unusual aroma within it. It's, it's, it has a nice, pleasant aroma. But it isn't one of those aromas that just like, oh, 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 to die for. No, gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. Some of them, I have that type of um, rapport with them. But this one, not so much. This Vagari fragrance here, it's nice. I used to love it. It has been with me quite a long time, but I think they have a few more newer ones in their collection. And I see them, they're still very popular. They haven't been discontinued. As a matter of fact, none of these has been discontinued. But this particular Vagari here is a wonderful, pleasant aroma. But with this one, you get an exceptional amount of roses and raspberries and peaches and bergamot. But it's nice, but it's, it's gentle. It's gentle. Let's put you right here. Mm. You can definitely smell the peaches, the raspberries, and everything. It's very affluent. It's one of those projectable fragrances that like you walk into a flower shop. And all of the variations of floor arrangements that they have in a flower shop, they're right here in this container. To the point where you can't determine exactly which ones, which ones which. They all exhilarate themselves together, and you get a very pleasant scent with it. But like I said, it's not something that have me going like, gotta have it, gotta have it, want it again, want it again. No, I don't think I'm going to invest in this one. Well, I didn't invest in it. It was a gift. But I don't think I would ever purchase it because it doesn't have that. I don't have that desire for it. I have to have a desire for my fragrances and I don't have that with this one anymore so it's almost empty as you can see it's sad but I use this baby but it took me a long time I had it a long time so I'm gonna go ahead on and eliminate it so you can say goodbye to Bagari Rose Essential because it's loaded with roses but you can't really smell the roses in it and I love a rose scent but anyway say goodbye <laughs> Okay, and the next one I have for you happens to be Blueberry Brit Sheer. And honey, I love this fragrance. I do. But as you can see, look at it. It falls into that category of empties. So I'm going to go ahead on and eliminate this one as well. But before I eliminate it, I'm going to use it up for sure. Because this is a pleasant aroma. It's Blueberry Brit. And Blueberry Brit, honey, this is sweet, sweet, sweet. It is a, it's like a gourmand sweet. But it isn't like a Parada Candy sweet or any of the other sweet floral arrangements that you would attain in a fragrance. This has a variation of notes within it so distinguishing to the point where it's very pleasant. I love it, I do, it's pleasant. But it's light, that's why I'm not gonna invest in it again because to me this is another one of those excessive youthful fragrances. It's very light, it has an abundance of a floral note supplied in here and it has a hint of vanilla and it has a hint of uh, it appears to be like some peaches or plums or something some type of berry notes within this fragrance so I would probably say that it falls into that category of fruity floral sweet and it's nice so say goodbye to blueberry Wood cheer and I have a couple of of uh, Mimitures. And the one that I have here happens to be Roberto Cavalli. I will be eliminating this fragrance even though I'm in love with this fragrance. I will classify this as my empties that I will not be replacing. And the only reason that because of the fact that I cannot locate this fragrance anywhere. So how am I going to replace it? So it falls in that category. 
and then I have this one right here which happens to be another miniature and it's called Ooh La La and it falls into that category I can't locate it anywhere because it's very it's still somewhat a little primitive if you can't if you can't locate it you can't replace it so it falls into my category of empty that I will no longer be replacing and then I have another one here and this here happens to be Philosophy, Grace Philosophy. This one was granted to me, a gifted to me or something. I like it, but I've never purchased any Philosophy fragrances. And the reason, again, because I'm the type of person, I like a fragrance with some projection, power, a kick, a nice strength. Mm, and this one, to me, this here, Grace Philosophy, it's called Bella. Bella Me. I like this scent overall. And it has some very nice day wear a scent. And it's very appropriate for summer wear or spring wear because it's very floral. Very floral. And it has jasmine, vanilla, or some oriental aromas within it. And I love it, but I'm going to let it fall into my categories of empties because of the fact it's almost empty. But yet and still, it has that nice, pleasant aroma to it. And like I said, I've never purchased anything. Um, my philosophy, and this one's nice, but it doesn't really give me that authentic type aroma with some elaborate projection or power. Uh, intensity to it as I desire so therefore I will not be investing in this one ever I didn't and I won't so I just want you to know that this is my category of empties that I will no longer be purchasing ever again and I hope you enjoyed the video and I thank you very much for tuning in and have a wonderful evening bye